y'all, what's up? So we're out on the water with Tom Murata and he wants to go after bowfin today. Uh, he says it's a really cool fish to catch. I've never caught one, I'm looking forward to it. And what kind, what kind of action are you expecting us to see underwater with these bowfin? Oh man, I don't know. Little is known about the mysterious bowfin. We may be, we may be shooting underwater footage that has never been seen before. Well, it's that time of year where they could be really shallow. So uh, you have a good chance of actually like getting them on camera. Other times they're just slither away like ghosts into the cover, into the depths of nothing. But right now we have a chance of get, interacting with them shallow. Um, it's all about your eyes, this fish. You gotta see him kind of in this mode. It's hard to just like blind cast. You do catch him on a blind cast, but this time of year in here, I like to see him first and then make the right cast. I want to get the bait as close to as possible to their face, really, without spooking them. So I like to see him first and like present it nice and lightly. A lot of things will work as long as you cast it right. I'm just using a jig and lizard, something creepy to catch a creepy fish. They're kind of like a lizard of the water. They'll probably eat their own. I don't know, but. Yeah, they bite a lot of things. You just got to get it kind of in front of them without spooking them. Speaking of creepy, Tara did something really creepy just for this episode because it's Bofin. Cameraman Fabian, move back and zoom in because I'm gonna let I'm gonna let him remove his mask We're momentarily. I did okay. this all. I did this all for the sake of the Bofin. All right. See this? Very creepy. I know. And I did that in celebration for the creepy Bofin. So this is for you, Bofin. My mustache is creepy, and so are you. Are we gonna get joined together as one? This is what it's all about. Let's see if Taro can catch a Bofin on his mustache. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen any yet. We're pretty shallow, but we're seeing lots of life. Bullhead, large mouth, bluegill. No Bofin, but I still think they're in here. I gotta keep going and keep looking for these things. It's a challenge. Here we go again. But the bait I'm using is a jig and a lizard. I just like something kind of heavy that I can control and get near them uh, so that I can get their interest. Sometimes if you cast too far away from them this time of year, I find that it's a lot harder. If you can see them, it's a lot easier to catch them. Um, when you're looking for them like this and you're in shallow, reedier areas in the spring or early summer, uh, Definitely the angle that you can see best at is really important. You gotta use your eyes. Going this way right now, I can't really see much. So I wanna turn the boat back in so I can uh, get the best angle for vision, right? So in like spring, early spring to about early summer, these marshy areas are a good way to, a good spot to look. They spawn in here. Uh, there's lots of life and food for them in here. A lot of them do leave as it gets hotter, but there'll still be some that remain in here. So it's a good, Good odds when you know how much time to just go right into these type of areas and start looking for them. Yeah, I wouldn't drive here with your big engine because there could be like wood, stumps, and your engine gonna get all caught up. So a trolley motor, maybe a push pole or a paddle, good idea. And uh, you don't want to beat your boat. You know what I mean? If you come in here with full sand with the big engine and you beat it, you may not get off. Stuck in the mud. We got out though. Stinks, man, when you get stuck in the mud. That's Bofin land. It stinks like methane. New section. New section, new hope. I see one right here. I had him. He ate it. I didn't even feel the bite. Did you see that? Yeah. Got him. Oh. I got him. I got him. I got him. Oh, I lost him. Oh, oh my God. Got him. Woo. Look how fluorescent this pretty guy is. Get that net, Jack. He's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. 
Holy cow! We worked this fish for a long time. And I finally got him. So a wise man once told me, the meat is good, the meat is good. It tastes like jello. No, thank you. Anyway, check that out. Look at that, Jack, hey? Look at that lizard crazy. face. Aren't they bizarre? Look at that. It's like the fin is part of their body. It's like these things breathe. You see them come up and gulp air at times. I don't know. Look at the beady eyes on that thing. It's not a very big one, but we got one. We are on the board with a bowfin. I lost him a couple times and I finally pestered him enough. He got mad and turned around and went bang, got him. Jeez. Like I said, he's creepy like my moustache. <laughs> so creepy. So creepy. I would say this, when you uh, do catch one, I would say like don't have your drag too tight if you're using a bigger hook because their mouth is like stone. I actually had him on before and lost him and then we got him. So yeah, their mouth is like stone. I think my drag was too tight the first time. And too big a hook, hmm, you know, sometimes doesn't penetrate and they shake off. So a little bit smaller hook on that. I'm using a mini jig, mini flipping jig. Anyway, let's get her in, send her. The footage that we're gonna have here is unreal. We're never gonna get this. Like I've never seen it before myself. This type of footage on camera. All right, apparently I really suck. I missed the fish the first time. I had a big lizard on the back. And then uh, I lost another one uh, after he put a little smaller chunk on. And then finally I went after that fish that I lost earlier. I saw him again and I went with no, no trailer. And I cut the weed guard right off and I just shook the rattle right in one spot. It has a little sound in there. Oh, he knocked the rattles right off. Savage. But there was rattles in there, but he knocked the rattles off. You see the little chamber there? I shook that on bottom and he just went bang. And I think it was just like making him mad, shaking it there. And he just hammered it and finally we got him. But yeah, that's a little bit smaller jig hook. I like a little bit smaller. It's easier for him to come off on those big hooks. They're most like stone. So I finally saw one, I went to a different area where I've never caught one before. And I saw him by his green fins, very fluorescent green fins. So I tracked him by watching those fins and I kept going after him and he kept moving away and finally he got mad and hammered it again, the same fish and we got him back, beautiful. So they don't always eat out of hunger, sometimes just rage. Yeah, we made him mad, right Jeff? I'm sorry, who saw him? <laughs> he saw him! I saw him. Yeah, he re saw him. All right, we'll give him some credit. <laughs> He's gotta do something, I guess. Just a little bit of marine courtesy. When you're on the water, I don't know if it's maritime law, it should be. When someone needs help, you help, no questions asked. Right? You guys are the best, man. <laughs> no kidding. I couldn't have run into better people on this journey than you guys. <laughs>